What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back for another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and Sharice just giving you guys some good tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully take your relationship to a next level, a better level, and hopefully a bright future for you guys. So if it's a girl listening or a guy listening, this can help you both, right? And hopefully it'll help your relationship. If you guys aren't in a relationship, then hopefully it'll help you in your next one that's gonna be coming, hopefully very soon in the future. So you guys can make the right decisions to make that a successful one, right? Of course. So uh, with every good relationship, comes anniversaries. Anniversaries come in times and people celebrate anniversaries at different times, right? Usually people celebrate one year anniversaries. I know people that celebrate them every month. Mm -hmm. So it's really up to you and how you want to do this. Now remember, this is supposed to be a special day. So the more you do it, the more unspecial it might be. So make sure you guys are setting these dates and times. Um, something that's going to be really special to both of you guys and you guys agree that this is the date you guys are going to do it on too, right? Because this will be your date going forth and it should mean something to you. So when you guys set this date, it should be at, you know, a moment in the relationship where it's hit us like, I don't know, like a, a height or... You Usually know, it's got to be like a special date like where you guys actually made the connection. 100%. Yeah, like, you know, like, we're going to, like, go steady or we're going to go out or you're going to be my boyfriend or girlfriend, right? Yeah, that's 100%. The, that's the beginning of it, right? Maybe not the day you met. I mean, it could be, I guess. Sometimes, I mean, most people do do it, like, from the day they met. I just, you know, from me and John met. personally, we met and it wasn't like that. Wow. So some people even, you know, when so they're not like boyfriend or girlfriend, yeah. you guys get married, obviously it's going to be the year, your anniversary, the year, the day you got married. I yeah. think that's when it changes. Just so. make sure that you guys have that date right. And both of you guys <laughs> had the right date. You know, because if one of you guys have the 15th and the other one has the 17th, yeah. that's not going to be good. If you're the guy, if you do it a couple of days extra early, I guess that wouldn't be a bad thing. Either. Or if you're the guy, you do it a couple of days late, you are not going to be in a you're good gonna position. You're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble for that one, for <laughs> you're sure. You're going to have this whole thing set up and you're going to be like, Oh, <laughs> but your present's still at the store. Yeah, so uh, or your dinner is still I in the it was kitchen. Like two days, two days from now, right? No, that's not going to work with the ladies for sure. They're going to yeah. be upset, and you're going to be in the doghouse. You're going to have to do even extra work mm -hmm. that you probably don't even want to do, but you should be doing <laughs> anyway. Okay, so uh, you know, for me and Sharice, we're lucky because this is the 14th year anniversary for us. Mm -hmm. So we're going on 15 here in this next year. But uh, 14 years down, gosh, it, it flies by, I think, even quicker every year. I was literally looking at photos of us, and then we look so little, <laughs> like this big, right? I'm like, wow, we've been together forever, you yeah, know? Yeah. I always say, and I'll say it in this episode too, that me and John spend every single moment of the day together. Even like when we're together, sometimes we're kind of not together because we're working. Mm -hmm. So it's really not together, but we're still like, I can see him and he can see me. And we might smile and that's about as far as we're getting. But anyways, we spend every moment of every day together, yeah. literally, right? Yeah. So I personally, I wonder if I should put a poll on here, right? I personally think that we should double the time, right? Because I mean, think about it, right? Everybody has their year anniversary, but they only get to see each other like after five o'clock when they get out of work, right? Uh -huh. So technically, sleep and everything, man, you get to see each other for like 12 hours, right? Total, mm -hmm. right? Me and John, we get 24 hours, right? So technically, it's really been 28 years. <laughs> 28 years of my life gone in 14. You see how long those guys. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be extending life at Titan Medical? <laughs> Try to extend it, but gosh, you never know. Guys. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it is something, you know, not a lot of couples can do what me and Sharice do. I mean, that's a rarity, you know, yeah. where people can spend that much time together without getting on each other's nerves. <laughs> But it does happen. So some people need those breathers, and that's okay, right? That's yeah. the common relationship out Normal, there. Man. People got to work, right? So at that point, there's got to be some separation, and you guys are doing what's best for the family all in together. Um, so that's another thing. That's why these days are so special, too, as well, and you should make them even more special because 
you know, these days are, are, are something that's a remembrance of your relationship, of how it got started, the flames, what brought you guys together, the love, the romance, everything should all be encompassed in this day, and that's what it should reflect, right? And that's what you reflect in love and, and gifts, if, if you possibly give them roses or whatever it may be. So for this year, you know, me and Sharice, we like to usually do something for our anniversary. We like to go out of town, mm -hmm. um, get away from it all, try to de-stress to a certain extent, and just enjoy each other. Um, so this trip, we went to the DR, went to the Dominican Republic, which was awesome. We had a great time, stayed at Eden Rock, Cabacana. Mm -hmm. um, it's our second time staying there. We stayed there for yeah, one of like our anniversaries there. like six years ago. Yeah, cool. um, But, you know, the property, it, it's progressed. It's got bigger. It's got newer things. So we actually got to stay in a, a little bit better accommodations, I guess, of, of where it was uh, you know, previously six years ago. And uh, usually me and Sharice go by ourselves. But, you know, these last couple of years, whatever, there's been a soft spot to bring our son. Um, you know, he's 12 years old now. We kind of want to show him, you know, what what else is out there. Kind of enjoy some of the things that we're doing too as well. Um, plus, you know, for me, it encompasses our family, right? And so it was like a family trip, but yeah. still anniversary trip kind of thing. Yeah. And, and some of you guys need to get alone without the kids too. So I understand how that goes. So, yeah. you know, don't be... in entailed to bring your your child with you your kids with you <laughs> leave them at home yeah enjoy definitely each other, leave them right? home most of them need to stay home anyway most of them need to stay home but <laughs> you know so we brought them out there but it was it was a great time right i mean and you know we we still worked out there a little bit um you know obviously that never stops but you know we got to enjoy ourselves you know we got to sit out a little bit we got to enjoy the family got to enjoy each other you know some good food some drinks kind of relaxing a little bit recovering from covid uh the second yeah, that was that us. was a little scary that uh, sucked, um, but yeah, you know but. we got to at least, I guess, recover for a couple of days out there in the sun, which was pretty nice. And we live in Florida, but it's ten degrees warmer in the Dominican. So but the water is fifty degrees colder <laughs> in the Dominican. We're still in the ocean. <laughs> I, I swear, it's like freezing cold. So I'm going, like this high in the water, and I'll just stand there and be like, okay, it's this gotta, is about as far as I'm going. It's got to be bath water. So you know, we did the trip and everything like that. It was real nice. You know, um, you know, got to relax. We said some dinners, some, some really cool dinners we did out there. So you know. Uh, I'll show some video of this in, 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 intertwined in, in the conversation today. I wonder if John will get to show that. So we still went on this anniversary trip, right? Because I like to tell the real life stories. I drop them in every episode. But, you know, we had the little one with us, which is cute, adorable. Okay, let's moving on. <laughs> right? And so John still went out of his way, and he surprised me. He never he never really gets to surprise me because I'm always, I'm always right up his butt, right? So he can't ever surprise me with anything. But he did. He surprised me in the room, right, with the whole, like, candles, rose petals, like the whole nine. Now, on the roses on the bed, the, the, whole, the whole kit and caboodle, like... I honestly, I think I was extra not expecting something like that because we had our son with us. So it was even more, it was, it was great because number one, he was showing Peter that this is how a man should treat his wife, right? That's right. That's, that's step number one, right? So that's, that's awesome. That's right. Um, number two, you still haven't lost your romantic touch after all these years, right? So that's cool. Um, number three, it was just the little third one's a little awkward, right? So you got the little one. He walks in and he's like, "Oh, candles and roses! Oh, look at this! Oh, okay, I'm gonna go back to my room over here, and you guys can have your room." And it was like, <laughs> "This is how people don't take their kids on." <laughs> But no, seriously, it was it was super super cool. It, the, the tub was filled with bubbles and the whole nine. We don't ever get to do anything like that, yeah. so it was I, I, it was awesome. It was perfect. Literally, so you know, some of the video will show you because I, I did put some clips in here. So um, at that point, it's going to show you guys kind of what I did with the bed, uh, the rose petals on top, the balloon, right, the box of roses out there because they didn't have the <laughs> usual ones that I get, Sheree. So I had to find something in the DR that was comparable. Um, and then, you know, rose petals in the bathroom, candles to say I love you on the floor, you know, rose petals in the bath. I had him draw the bath for me, you know, and uh, I, had, I had to time this right, okay? Because <laughs> we're at dinner and we're like... And he's like, he's like, I'm, I'm asking, like, I'm ready to go. Like, yeah. I'm done with my food yeah. and, I, you know, I'm very impatient. Yeah. So I'm like, where is the bill? I'm like, literally, like, what, what, what are we waiting on? Yeah. And I'm, he's like, he's like being real cool and chill and I'm like... I'm ready to go. I'm like, I'm, I want to go back to the room. Done. Yeah. He's so like being chill. I finally understood when I got back to the room why he was. 
Candles only last so long, guys, right? And the bath's got to stay warm. It's got to stay warm to get it into, you know. Oh, uh, that's you some know, serious timing because the sure. lock and everything, yeah, gotta yeah. make sure it's on point, you know. And if you need some extra helpers to help you out, that's okay, too, because you want to make sure it is kind of a surprise or you're doing things right. So if you have to work, you know, ask one of your buddies or one of their friends or whatever to help you out. Make sure the friend is confidential about what they're doing because they don't want them to share it before they get home, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that's that is what it is. But it was really, it was really nice. And yeah, you know, cool. I think everybody, you know, whether it's your first anniversary, fourteenth anniversary, or fiftieth anniversary, I think it should be a special day for both of you guys. It's not just for the girl; it mm-hmm. should be for you too. And and having the remembrance of what it is, um, you know, every year too, like Sharice, you know, whether it's these special events and stuff like that, because. Listen, material gifts are, are one thing, right? And, like, as you get older, I don't think they need as much. Right. Like, you know, like, all this crap. But the personalized things, <laughs> that's really where it's really, really cool. Um, like, Sharice always does these personalized items for me, you know, whether it's pictures or montages, and it has a special saying in it. And it's really, really cool. Like, I have these up on my dresser or I have these next to my bed. Like, all over the place. Yeah, and it's really, really cool because it remembers every day. When I, get, when I wake up and I see these things, you know, it just, it, it focuses me and, and brings me to where I want to be. You know, it's a happy place. Um, and I know what the goal is and my priorities in life and what they are too as well. So it's really, really cool. So stuff like that is what counts. 100%. You know, and spending time with each other is what counts. You know, the material things and the big dinners and all that. Listen, you can do all this stuff at home. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of money to do it. You can make dinner. You can make dinner. There's all kinds of things to do. You like can get the roses. You do them yourself. You can do flowers, whatever it is. You can do it on a budget. So it doesn't take a lot of money to do. It just takes, you know, yourself, um, some motivation and a lot of heart. Put a, just Honestly, guys, just put a little thought into it. You know, like, I've heard of a recent friend of mine, right, that mm-hmm. had an anniversary and there wasn't much thought put behind the anniversary or the dinner or anything about the anniversary. And yeah. then, like, you know, it's like 8 or 9 o'clock and the anniversary has went by. And it was kind of like, oh, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, listen, I'm not telling you to put your expectations all the way up here. However, I am telling you to, you know, do something that comes from the heart. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, I think it'll show through, and they'll remember it. That that's one thing, right? Mm-hmm. Remember, oh my God, this is what you did on this anniversary. And of course, take some pictures and stuff like that because that's nice to remember these things. You know, if you post them on Facebook every year, you'll get to see some of these yeah, things. Yeah, they pop up. <laughs> it's really cool, you know, to see some of these things from the memories from the past. So I mean, I like that aspect of Facebook. Um, but you can have for yourself too as well, and and you can always show them, or you can do you know picture slideshow, whatever it is, and just sit back and look through some of these older pictures, especially as your relationship matures and grows you know so first year yeah you've had some great memories you've done some great things and you have this but when you get to year 14 you can look back on year one and I'm like oh my god look at what we look like whoa right look what we remember did remember you used to wear that shirt <laughs> yeah remember all these things I, and it brings back good laughs and good memories and, and good bonding experiences too as well so it just brings you guys closer and that's what it's all about that's what our show is all about it's really help couples out there or relationships get closer so you guys have a, a, a good future together um, and just getting all the foundations that, that come with that too. So, yeah, uh, you know, happy 14th year anniversary yes. to my beautiful wife again. Yeah, happy and, uh, 14th. Yeah, 14th. I mean, 28th. <laughs> <laughs> Always trying to double up on me, trying to take the years from you guys. It's 28. It's 28 years. I've earned this 28. Yeah. So she has. She has earned it. She's been good. So she definitely. She gets rewarded for that for sure every day. I like treats. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, oh uh, yeah, just remember and listen. Next week we're gonna talk about Valentine's Day because it's coming up real soon. So you guys better get your stuff ready because that is more geared towards girls. Valentine's Day, I think. I guys think, too. I think girls look at it more like even when you were in the class when you were a little kid because they probably don't do it now because of COVID. But you made the Valentine's <laughs> Day right. You gave the Valentine's a special girl or whatever it is, you know. And now it's guys and girls. So at that point, hey, it is what it is. So whatever it is, you know, enjoy. But we're going to give you guys some great tips and tricks of what you guys can do for your loved one. And make sure that you don't schedule your anniversary close to Valentine's Day. Ooh. You know what? Actually make it on Valentine's Day every year or near it, and you guys can celebrate it every year together. And you got the two for one, baby. But get usually, close. Get close. usually, usually yeah. relationships go one way. If you're a bachelor out there, you get rid of them before Valentine's Day so you don't have to do no gifts and all that. It's so like from December to like March or May when the sun's <laughs> gonna start coming out you really don't have to have them and then like you know uh, trust me I, I know all the tricks and t- uh, tricks and tips for the oh, single yeah. guys out there oh yeah got all the too. buddies out there doing uh, their thing 
Dude, I hear all the stories. I live vicariously through my friends. God bless them. <laughs> because it's, it's a hard world out there if you are dating. God bless you guys. If you guys are doing that stuff day to day and you have to go through the tinders and, and the bumbles and, and the, the bumbles and the, and the, the DMs and, and, and COVID and, and all the restrictions, you know, before you have to worry about, hey, listen, did you get checked for STDs? Now, did you get checked for STDs? And are you COVID positive? They walk in the door and all of a sudden you have all these rapids lined up, right? <laughs> Look, 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 look. <laughs> I got my own rabbit test. I'm ready right now. Let me swap them. Let me swap them. STDs. Uh, just line them up. <laughs> so, guys, it's been a great Cupid's Corner with you guys. Join us every Sunday, ABC, 11 a.m. with me and Sharice. Guys, check out the website, tightmedicalcenter.com, for all the beat enhancers and everything else we can help you guys out with. The YouTube channel will have this show and all the other shows. If you didn't DVR it, do it now. If you didn't, don't worry. Check out YouTube for all the great shows. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Okay. Bye, guys.